so in the previous video we have uh, understood that the the mutation in the spike protein at some of the sites such as N61Q and uh, 801Q and 61Q657Q leads to less expression of spike or proteins in the cells so in this figure uh, what they have done is they have tried to analyze whether uh, this mutation uh, will prevent the entry of spike protein within the cells or this is some somewhat related to the protein folding that happens within the uh, cells or we can say during the endoplasmic uh, reticulum and then into the Golgi so in this what uh, in order to identify in order to resolve this question the strategy that they have approached is that they transiently transfect the parent spike protein and the mutant spike protein within the hex cells and see the expression of spike protein on the cell surface and also uh, within the cells so this is uh, what they have analyzed they have analyzed the live cells that is on the cell surface and uh, live cells also through this uh, this anti rbd will detect only the s1 site of the spike protein whereas this is fc detects the whole uh, spike protein and these fixed formalized cells with anti flag it will detect s2 part of the spike protein so, so this is the first expression in which they have analyzed the s1 part of the spike protein and this live cells means they have analyzed the cell surface levels and we can see that uh, almost all the mutants uh, shown here are so same expression level whereas for the fixed permalized cells they can see the, some increase in the uh, value of the expression rbd expression this is because the fixed permalized cells will account for both the spike protein at the cell surface and also within the cells however for the this uh, spike delta in this one cleavage site is removed and because of that the expression of uh, s2 sites uh, seems to be expression of this s1 site seems to be more bigger so somewhere uh, somewhat this cleavage site uh, prevent the expression of this spike protein and in the absence of those that cleavage site the expression of this spike delta increases uh, to a great amount compared to the other knockout and come also compared to the parent later on they did the analysis of whole spike protein on the cell surface through this anti Uh, there uh, they can see that uh, almost all the uh, mutant shows a similar kind of expression except this spike delta that shows a very high amount of expression and this is because the expression of S1 is more uh, compared to the other knockout and also compared to the wild type later on uh, what they did is they analyzed the s2 part of the cells on the cell surface and also within the cells on the cell surface they did not see any s2 part not even for the parent and not even for the spike delta and not even for the other mutant whereas for this fixed and permalized or within or to check uh, the intercellular amount of this s2 part of the spike protein they can see that almost all levels are similar similar and is comparable to the parent so from this uh, figure they have made a point that this uh, spike proteins the mutation in the spike proteins prevent the entry of spike protein within the cells however it does not affect uh, it does not have any significant effect on the protein folding process that occurs within the cells or within the endoplasmic reticulum or Golgi so uh, in com uh, combining figure 1 and previous figure and this figure we can made a point that 
this glycan mutation prevent the entry of spike protein within the cells. However, it has uh, no significant role in altering the protein folding within the cell machinery. If you need to understand this thing in details, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.